Hello, Pioneers. Today is Friday, January 7th, 2022. It's time for your news in the morning with your WPKN news team. I'm Spencer Strong with today's news. But first, let's all stand and join Colton Jackson for the Pledge of Allegiance. Colton? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchor. Awesome job, Colton. Now let's check in with Fernando in the WPKM Weather Center for a look at today's forecast. Fernando? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a 6% chance of rain. The wind will be blowing out of the north at 10 miles per hour. The high today will be 67 degrees with a low of 57 degrees. Have a great day. Now back to Anchor. Great job, Fernando. For lunch today, our fabulous Romeo chefs have prepared us a choice of pizza, 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 and a wow butter sandwich with broccoli and fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now it's time for today's Pioneer Minutes with Miss Williams and Miss Femwalt for today's school announcements. Take it away, Miss Williams and Miss Fenwalt. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Fenwalt. Good morning. Good. Boys and girls, we have a new member of our team here at Romeo. This is Miss Fenwalt. She is our new assistant principal. So, boys and girls, we are going to show her the Romeo way. We're going to show her our expectations of being responsible, respectful, being safe, and being leaders and remember our word of the month is respect and that's treating and talking to people in a way that makes them feel worthy and important so boys and girls when you see miss finnewald today give her that quiet wave if you're in line all right let's celebrate buses buses today again Tic-tac-toe, three days in a row. Every single bus stayed on the board all week long. Boys and girls, way to lead. By the way, you're not only leading, you're teaching by your actions. Others are seeing how you act, and they say, hmm, I'm going to try that as well. All right, let's hear it for 3035, 3026, 3031, 3005, 3024, 3029, 3037, and 3025. Fantastic, boys and girls. Keep it up. Uh, Teachers, we do have a late bus. Uh, 3005 will be about 45 minutes late. We will make an announcement when that bus arrives and the students get through the cafeteria. All right, well, it is time to recognize our golden cups for the cafeteria. Remember, our expectations are the same, but it looks different in each area we go to. And I know you all have been working on those expectations in your classrooms, and I want to come into the cafeteria today and see how well you are doing. But boys and girls, for this week, Listen to this, brand new semester, we had three classes earning golden cups this week. Congratulations to Miss Tripp's classroom, Miss Stewart's classroom, and Miss Witten Lavery's classroom. Congratulations, boys and girls, way to lead the way. All right, boys and girls, just one more announcement before we get to our words of wisdom. Remember, I ready, AP2 is coming up beginning next week. We will start with reading on Monday. So I want you to get mentally prepared. You start thinking, how, what do I need to do to do my very best on that assessment? So that when you get on your path, it's right where you need to go and you can move on and beyond where you are today. So boys and girls, I'm going to remind you of our checklist for when you do AP three, uh, 2 and I will remind you again on Monday, remember, do not rush. This is important. You are important. Do your best. Number two was try my best. Absolutely. Reread the passages. Sometimes something doesn't make sense and I have to throw on the brakes. Wait, what did I just read? What did that author just try to tell me? I'm going to go back and reread. If something doesn't make sense as I'm reading it, I'm going to stop and I'm going to reread so that it does make sense. 
the fourth one, I'm getting ahead of myself mm -hmm. here. Read carefully. Double check your answers. I went through a classroom yesterday and I heard a third grader say, mm, that makes no sense. Meh, can't be that one. Oh, that sounds like a good answer. Oh, but so does that. What should they do? Think about it. Did you think, go back in the text and find your answer? Absolutely right. Double check your answer. Use paper and pencil for math problems, okay? Check yourself. You have this. It is important. Do your best. All right. Would you like to say anything to these boys and I girls? I don't think so. I'm just looking forward to meeting you all. All right. All right. Here's some words of wisdom. You know those little alarms that stores put on on jeans and shirts and bathing suits, and the clerks in the dressing rooms who check how many things you take in and how many things you bring out, and the security cameras and the security guards, all those things cost a lot of money. And stores have to spend that money because so many people try to steal from them. Who do you suppose pays for all that security stuff? We do. That's right, we pay for it with higher prices. We are all hurt when people do the wrong thing. But as they say in Hawaii, no one is hurt by doing the right thing. Today, remember, everyone wins when we do what is right. Today, with something to think about, this is Miss Williams and Miss Finnewald. Make it a great day, Romeo. The choice is yours. Thank you, Ms. Williams and Ms. Finnerwall. Well, that's all for today, Pioneers. Thanks for joining us this morning. Be sure to tune in again Monday for the news the kids can count on to start their day. I'm Spencer Strong. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now. It's Friday!